So I was watching this Hannah Reloaded reaction video to every other meme stock videos out there, and she actually said something that made total sense and it's 100% fact. And what that was is she said that they are lampshading. And I know the phrasing, and I'll explain it to you guys if you guys understand what the meme stock community does. I heard this first from Trey. Trey Trades used to do this all the time, Tony DeNero. They would say, oh, take this with a grain of salt. And that always means like, don't put too much into it, too much behind it. Don't believe what we have to say. And then now they use the phrase, oh, this is just tin foil, right? And that's what Bed Bath & Beyond does, where that whole crew and PPCs are like, oh, this is just tin foil, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. Because when they are wrong, then they can just say, hey, well, it was just tin foil. It was just an idea. It was a theory. Oh, there's some good theories here. There's some good, you know, tin foil. It's all, there's some good stories. Nothing factual, nothing documented. So because they make up stories off of what they claim is factual and documented, it just shows you that they have no credibility whatsoever. And when guys like me come out and show you the SEC filings and or make an assumption or, I tell you, a prediction of what's, of what's about to happen, and then we're correct, it's like, well, how the hell do you guys even have credibility once we've proven all of this tinfoil and or grain of salt's wrong? I don't understand it either, trust me. But shout out to Hannah for making reaction videos and looking at it. And you know what? Truth is, I bet you she's a really big fan of our show, Marantz Rants, because I actually tell her what's happening with the company and the transition. She doesn't get it though. She's like, what do you mean transition? Where are they going? Why are they profitable? Don't worry. Hey, Hannah, when it all catches up with you, it'll probably be too late by then. But when it does catch up with you and you claim you're an investor yourself, um, then you missed out on GameStop or maybe you are investing in GameStop. I don't know what you're doing. But if you don't understand what e-commerce is and GameStop transitioning into the omni-channel provider that they are, well, I'll tell you, it's retail 101. But as far as investing goes, it's still undervalued. You got to know that. And if you think that it's at the peak of it or at the peak of when they made profits, that they actually, you know, you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. Here's what you don't understand. Profits, as in top line profits, that's not what makes your company valuable or your stock valuable. It's not that. Shareholder equity is where you're at. So when you look at the shareholder equity, multiply that book that price value that book value see where you're at see what the actual percentage is every share sold right now today you're sitting at around one third of equity okay and they're holding the equity therefore it's worth every bit of that there's not a single stock out there that wouldn't even be a metric if it wasn't but shareholder equity per share tells you GameStop's the top retail stock period one third of it is equity Nobody has that percentage, no one. So don't tell me that you understand values and metrics and, and investing when you can't even figure that part out. But I wish you the best of luck. Hannah, keep doing what you do. I'm not attacking you personally. I'm just letting you know your view is flawed, but I appreciate your view and showing all your followers uh, just how great we are. GameStop, can't stop, won't stop, GameStop. Everything else, yeah, it is tinfoil. Oh God, they're gross. Peace.